And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Kindred Zoe. All right, this is our third deck for the Kindred Spotlight Day. This is the one that I think is probably going to be the best of our decks, honestly, because uh, we get Targon, we get a bunch of Invoke cards. Um, and so this is, like, if you want to play a long game with Kindred, this is the best region to play long games with. Um, and so we will be able to slay our own units some. Like, we're going to have our own Spirit Leech, um, Glimpse Beyond, that kind of stuff. Plus, we'll have, like, some small units, like, you know, one ones with, like, Spacey Sketcher, Hapless Aristocrat that we can Unspeakable Horror and Vile Feast. But we're not, like, really necessarily all about slaying our own units. Um, but we're, we're, you know, we're just trying to play, like, a long game. And Kindred, you know, just has that effect that's that's going to help us out. Um, we use, You may see, like, lots of one, one ofs in here. And maybe you are somebody that doesn't like ones and twos. But I think, like, with Zoe, it, Zoe definitely re rewards you for playing a lot of different cards. Plus, if we're playing a long game and drawing through our deck, we're going to want to have a lot of different cards for different... Uh, situations and scenarios depending on whatever the game presents us and so we have a lot of different answers you know do we need a black spear do we need unspeakable horror we got a lunari priestess in here to hit with stalking shadows instead of all just three solaris we're going with one lunari to kind of switch it up lunari can hit it important like important cards that solari priestess can't hit um, like cosmic inspiration for example would be really good in this deck one bastion to help protect kindred or zoe um couple withering whales because of the metagame right now with all the little sand soldiers and one ones that thresh nasus has or just one health units um yeah so our deck's got a lot of different tools and so might as well get to the games because this is going to be a long video <laughs> where are the the goal of our deck is to simply outgrind our opponents and just kind of get rid of all of their resources answer everything win in the late game with big invoke cards Okay, so we're going to start. I guess Vengeance. Vengeance isn't bad. All right. Honestly, maybe I should just keep Kindred too. <clears throat> I don't want to keep just all expensive cards though. See, we found. Like, Kindred came back. We found another one. Alright. Ooh, a Spear Leech. So, of course, I didn't play Super Cool Star Chart. Now I have the ability to invoke. I want Crescent Strike. Crescent Strike does a very good job stopping um, the Ephemeral Watchers. Alright, and so this does enable their avalanche more. So that's fine. We need to play our cards. We're gonna have lots of them. Champagne Supernova. Champagne Supernova. Yeah. Alright, so we're uh, using our Targon cards to get find our removal. We're invoking our removal. So they're passing to me, even though they would eat, you know, extra mana than what I would. Like, I'd only waste two mana, they would waste five mana. I have ten cards in hand, so I'm, I'm kind of priced into playing something. So let's open me up to Avalanche again. I will bury the world in ice. I kind of want to Moonglow a, a Kindred. Not able to. Certainly don't have the mana for, uh, or like the sorry the the space in hand for glimpse beyond. Really, question is like, should I just like sketcher the glimpse beyond? There's not really a reason to. Ah, 
Oh, that card's useless. <laughs> Speaking of cards that are useless right there. Possible I shouldn't be playing one health. I shouldn't be grabbing one health unit against Lissandra. Lissandra is so hard to kill. I had, like too much like card advantage right like not i can't get cards out of my hands to find other cards that matter right like i have like these cards that don't matter <laughs> i can't get out of my hand like, i can't play glimpse beyond it's like if i all right so if i glimpse beyond we still have eight cards in hand and then we draw two so that's ten so then even if i play one like the vile feast I guess that puts me back down to 9, and then we draw for a round, and so that's 10. Or I just save spell mana. the Zoe survive these ice shards. Let's take this outside. Feel the power of true ice. I just don't like Equinox in this matchup because I know you can Equinox a Watcher, but then it's still just a regular 11 17, and you, it's, it's hard to beat an 11 17. So that's why I don't really like Equinox. I guess I may have to have it though, like if they have Fading Memories. Oh man, Zoe never does the Nexus Strike whenever Lissandra has the tough Nexus. like a black spear or anything that like kills this Lissandra. We'll shuffle the mountain goat back in. Bad 
to get an 8-8 from this Frozen Thrall. We're just taking nine. Yeah, I guess I'm just taking nine. I don't know. I could I'm block and glimpse beyond. Yeah, I guess I do that. The Sassandra and these ice shards are just such a beating. This Lissandra, like, basically won this game for my opponent. Gosh. That is so greedy. I'm so glad they played that Ice Shard. So greedy playing that thing. So assuming I want to go Supernova next round. That's nine. I can either pick up a Charger for a tenth. Or... Moon, Sil Moon Silver Mountain go. Because if I take Moon Silver, we're... Kind of out of cards. But, like, obviously the Charger versus... Lys like, this is not a good card against Lissandra. But I think mana-wise, this is kind of what we gotta play. Trundle's just going to kill me, though. Uh, GG's. Just had every th every threat in their deck, basically. Okay, it looks like Yasuo Malphite kind of popular today. Second time playing against it. And this is a very good hand. We got a good one, two, three. I can't, yeah, I can't imagine that at the end of the month watcher not being nerfed because it is completely absurd I, I can't imagine that it survives that that deck survives at the end of the month i really can't yeah the aurelia buff 
is that's quite a buff that they <laughs> gave that like allowing it to get that blade that uh um, blade surge the turn it levels up that was quite a buff certainly made that deck better Theor theoretically meteor shower would kill yasuo so like we're spending an extra mana but the one damage just isn't valuable, and if they could have, like, Pill Cascade to help save it. Now, obviously, they can still have, like, Deny and everything that would stop either spell. But I think it's worth taking the card that's an additional mana in this respect. Um, be the end of June, not July. June 30th, we're going to have the next expansion come out, and they said that there's going to be a lot of balance patch changes then also, because they've, they've listened to the community, because we because they realized that we have a completely solved metagame that's been solved for a long time, and they didn't do it. They're not changing anything about it. And they realized, alright, our bad. We'll change stuff. So, whenever the next expansion comes out, June 30th, that's going to be after the next seasonal tournament, though. I wasn't really expecting them to have a way to kill my Zoe, but I guess, you know, the warrior. That's that's the warrior right there. Um. Mm. So I need the stun card or Equinox, right? Like, I needed one of those two. And these are neither. These are none of them. Yeah, try for Crescent, Guardian, or Equinox. We had a couple of cards we could have hit. I do want to just do the damage to the warrior and get a get a mana gem. Because as you can tell, we have so much stuff in hand that we I just want the mana gem right now. And now that's you know a couple more damage on that card. Don't let the fluffy tails fool you. Because we got cards aplenty. I don't know if this game is going to be over in the next half hour. It may not be. <laughs> so strap on in. I would love to find like cosmic inspiration, but Solari Priestess doesn't find that. We both have nine cards. Daylight warms the heart and lights the way. Realize I gotta play something. Cause I have too many cards in hand. Oh no, I guess I only had nine. Should eat deny, but it'll be the first deny out of their hands. So they could have homecoming. Wow. Well, that's amazing. All right, first Yasuo gone.
good decks for Katarina. I guess the best one would be Katarina with Legion Marauders. Yeah, if you... We've played a few in the last couple of months, a few pretty decent Katarina decks. Like, none of them are amazing, but, you know, like, it's, you know, with Katarina. Um, if you go to my, my deck page there with Mobilytics, you can, you can filter it by... On my decks, you can filter it by champion. And so maybe recommend checking that out and filtering it by Katarina, and maybe there's something that, uh, that looks like it'll catch your eye and that, that, you, that you'd enjoy playing. And then, of course, all those videos should also be up on YouTube, if whatever the deck name is. You search for that on, on YouTube. Yeah, I can't really stop this Unstoppable Force, can I? I guess I'm... I guess I need to Equinox this Blade Twirler, didn't I? I don't know. I was never in it this game mentally. This journey is a discovery. Yeah, I need I need to equinox the blade twirler. That was a big mistake by me. That was a big mistake by me, because then obviously if I if I equinox the blade twirler, then I can use that uh, six mana thing on the Malphite. That was a huge mistake. I just kind of ignored the blade twirler, thinking that we could block it. I that was a big mistake. I like seeing that. gonna work the enemies of day will fall. okay okay kindred all right kindred I see ya Shining gifts from the sky hmm I guess now I can't kill this Malphite like I need to So yeah, like this this whole thing was like that Equinox play, right? If I Equinox the correct thing, then I'm able to obliterate the Malphite, and this is different. Now I could have used Glimpse Beyond right there. I just figured that I don't know. I I should I guess I should use Glimpse Beyond right there because now we drew the Vengeance because then I could add the Vile Feast for this Malphite. But hmm. Stop. Definitely didn't didn't play this one very well. Yeah, definitely didn't play this game very well. I gotta I gotta refocus. That was not I don't know. 
you guys have games that, like you're just kind of like not really interested in playing? <laughs> that's what, that's what that one kind of felt like to me. I just knew it was going to take a long time, and I don't know. I kind of zoned out. And I'm streaming. I shouldn't do that. I understand. I'm sorry. But it just kind of happened. I kind of have that problem sometimes when my opponents take a long time between every single play they make. That's that's a problem I, I have with, with focusing some sometimes. That if my if my opponents take 10 seconds between every single play, I kind of start zoning out. And I, I wish I wasn't like that, I wish, but I need to get better at that. But I, I have that problem sometimes. They... Uh, it's not like they were like you know taking thirty seconds on everything you know, but it was just consistently a little bit, and then I just I just lost lost focus. All right, none of these are good to keep. Like I had a good opening hand there, that that five five challenger really threw me for a loop. Not something that I was expecting. That's the thing with Targon, they, they have everything. But yeah, that, that really threw me for a loop and that killed my Zoe and, and it was just all downhill from there. I'm doing that so they don't get the easy slay on killing their own Curse Keeper. I got another one, though. Let's take this Falling Comet for their different champions. Huh. Huh. Why do they have these zero, zero, zero ones? I guess that's why. That's an egg. Did it move? I thought about that right after I did. I was like, I, I should have just gemmed this priestess. Please, I have connections. Made it a 2 2. Gives them another slay. That's okay. Also, just take it. How's it going? Get me out of here. Is that Glimpse Beyond? Or is it Vile Feast? Hopefully Glimpse Beyond. It's Vile Feast and they're killing the 2 1. And cards I have in hand right now. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So if I play this, it's hard to tell. 1, 2, 3, 3, 6, 8. So this will be 10. Yeah, so I have room for the 2. That's got to be another Vile Feast. They're saving to kill the Zoe. Maybe they kill the Serpent instead. Nope. We're just going to keep on going with another Serpent. And let's get a 2-1 over here. Be able to block these other... These two power units. Just going to trade with a bunch of stuff. Oh, 
Well, I'll still have to find some uses for, or like some cards to get rid of Nasus. But if we can limit it to where it's basically just three, you know, now where it's just like three Thresh, three Nasus, and now two Thresh, three Nasus that we have to worry about, you know, we start having some better chances. We're able to just have all of our small stuff trade with all their small stuff. All right, let's get the Kindred out here so that if when I start uh, using Withering Whale, start killing stuff. Do I want to use a gem? I, wanna, I always want to save my spell mana because, like, yeah, next round we'll have 10 total mana. I know this only marks the the O one, but you know it's a start. Tell me a story, Lamb. Once there was a star that crashed down to Earth. Did it crush anyone? It tried to I'm hoping they have the four one challenge, the kindred, where I'm able to, to withering whale and kill it. Returned, and from it, a man was reborn. That's a long voice line. That's like a story. Yeah, Kindred dies to Black Spear. Kindred just kind of keeps dying. Like, the. I really wish this was a 5 5. Right? Or even a 4 5. Like, that fifth point of health is so important. As you can see, all these things deal 4. Black Spear deals 4. We had things earlier that was dealing 4. I don't remember what. Oh. You think Kindred should cost 4 mana and then have lower stats? So just make it easier. Like, it's already something that people kill immediately. It'd just make it a little easier to kill. But I guess it's easier to maybe play and protect. Even our Thresh Nasus games are going to take a while. Got to have a lot of patience to play Shadow Isles Targon Control. Wrap him up tight. So of course, this Withering Rail would kill that 1-1 so that then they wouldn't have the right of negation. And so then my other Withering Rail would also resolve. That was really bad by them. Oh, but the first right of negation cancels everything. Right, right. It's not like denied. It doesn't just counter the first thing. It does counter everything. Okay. Right, I was like, oh man, they just... Because I, then I thought my second... My first... Right, uh, Withering Will, I thought was going to resolve. But yeah, I guess they had they had both of those. That's too bad. Alright, so so far we've gotten rid of one, one Thrush, two Ride Negations. Their, that's their third vile feast. So 
They're out of those. I am out of um, Withering Whales, but I have some file fees. No, we don't really need Mass Mother. We don't. We don't have like enough things to sacrifice. Yeah, we got two Vengeance in the deck, so there's both of them. Yay, Zoe. Yeah, so we've gotten through two Ride of Negation, one Thresh, one Nasus. Still play Nasus and have Atrocity. I tried a Vengeance, they Atrocity in response. They got 18 cards left, I got 19. Got twice as many cards in hand. The destroyer is the cheapest of them. More fire them. I can certainly see them having black spears in hand because I don't think they've played a black spear yet. Yeah, we had like a really good. Um, Withering Whale, to, like we had Withering Whale to keep Kindred alive and kill a whole bunch of stuff, and they ride negationed it, and then but we had two Withering Whales, we had ten manos around eight, and so we Withering Whale again, and then they ride negationed it again. Mm. They've already played all three Vile Feast. one or should I kill a four one now the other black spear turned back on again so I can't can't like pretend like they don't have black spear turned on kill a four one he has an aggro player this long of a game is a nightmare <laughs> you know we have our three games so far at 55 minutes and counting and we haven't won a game yet zero mana cards yeah so i don't think yeah see you know, i don't think there's really been anything wrong with our deck on honestly so far it's really like these are really difficult decks to play um and i think that i i think i made you know mistake you know like you're gonna make mistakes with like choosing what cards to choose all that kind of stuff i think i've made some mistakes the first two games they're both very long games um the second game i kind of zoned out and really really made some some bad mistakes, but this kind of, yeah, this kind of deck's kind of tough, and I think we've, we've definitely had the tools to win, right? Whenever you play a really long game and you're playing Targon, if you lose, it's probably your fault, right? So I'm 0-2, I'm so that means it's probably my fault. Probably. Now, that Lissandra Trundle deck is really difficult to defeat. I'm sure I could have done, you know, I'm sure going back and watching the game, though, I'm sure I could have done better things. All right, the opponent gives up. And there we go. One and two. The four health has been really rough in, in these games and just kind of overall. I, I think Kindred could definitely use a fifth point of health. And, you know, you could make it a 5-5, five, five, but even, even just at 4-5. Like, Kindred would be better at 3-6, like Thresh, 
like Thresh is, than at 4-4. Four, four. Which I guess 3 plus 6 is 9, so that's, you know, that's that's more, but... So that's maybe obvious, but... <clears throat> it could. I think Kindred's better as is, as opposed to a 4 me and a 3-4. Three, 3-4 four. Three, four would make it, you know, weak to Culling Strike also. Things like that. I, I think it's probably better as is. Deal 4, deal 1. No, let's take this player. What if changed to 3-5? Would yeah, would die to calling, but survive kind of everything else. It would probably be better at three five than four four. Man, and they're still passing. You gotta imagine it's Screeching Dragon this round. <clears throat> we have seen that though today. Kindred dying to Scree- you know, Kindred being smaller than Screeching Dragon's a problem. Like that's- that's a problem. How popular Screeching Dragon is in the metagame and then you're just gonna have, like, Kindred be completely smaller than it. You know, at least a 3-5 wouldn't die immediately to Screeching Dragon. So that, that could be useful. Do I not have another... Do I not have another Invoke card in my hand right now? I guess I don't, huh? We're going to have to start shaping to find one. Glory. Change is coming. Really hope they don't have single combat. That's a good sign. Good sign. All right. Kindred eating up a dragon. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Killing a dragon. Beauty and the Blade. This is kind of weird, but I kind of don't have anything to play. Doesn't mean I don't mark anything anymore. I'm 
glad they didn't just play that last round after I played like my blue sentinel. I hate this animation. I think it that's only happens when Aurelian Soul drops, but I hate that animation. Yeah, I really don't like that animation. Yeah, so I could have used... So, yes, I could have used the um, Kindred Champion spell on, like, the 3-3, three, three, so then Kindred only took 2 damage, so the mark stays on, but they have... I guess maybe they didn't have the attack token. I, I thought that then they would just challenge... Maybe they didn't have the attack token. But, yeah, that's what I was worried. I, I didn't want the Kindred just to have, like, 2 health. Um, but yes, I could have done that. I need to figure out how to play this Cosmic Inspiration. I mean, Slaughter Priestess is just a lot better. Take it, but I I gotta wait. All right, fine. I guess we just play this. It just costs one mana to play that instead of just pass, right? <laughs> so like, I guess we just play it. I want to kind of heal my nexus, but yeah, we should just play it. No dragons. Not a single dragon over there. Well, that is interesting. And yeah, I'll wait late for Solar Priestess. We'll play this thing. Um, yeah, I actually have a Kindred Renekton donation deck to play. So we know they don't have any dragons in hand. Just taking six. Banish the unworthy! Please, I have connections! There's kind of no reason for me to be losing these games with having infinite cards. It was my heart that led me here. All right, so they got a dragon. You gotta be chilling on fight spells. Fight fight spells and star shapings. That egg. Did it move? I think those were the exact same three options that the other Solar Priestess had. Have judgment. My spirit shines. Witness glory. Hold back the darkness. Here they come. Ah, All right, 
to clear up a little bit of room. Clips Dragon hitting the Traveler, not bad. Not bad. Which hit another Traveler. They are going crazy. Certainly one of their cards is star shaping. That's for sure. We definitely know they have star shaping in hand. Or not star shaping, sorry. Uh, sharp Sight. Sharp Sight. No, they have Sharp Sight in hand. Like one of, the, one of these three cards is a Sharp Sight. I can tell you that right now. I also think they have... I think the other ones are single combats and concerted strikes. Judgment, same kind of thing, right? Like that, those kind of fight spells. I think that's like what they were sitting on. So we've seen two Zoe's and one Aurelian Soul so far. Another day guarding the walls. Yeah, they got more dragons. I wanted another cosmic inspiration, if I could have chose. Yep, the dragon from the Eclipse Dragon never came down. Good call. Which, that's one of these two cards. Well, we'll do some obliterating. Yeah, so that's their sharp sight. I guess we just trade for that plus sharp sight. Oh, hush. Nice. That's even better. That also makes sense. It's like a card they would just have they didn't play earlier. Alright, eventually they get tired of playing. And you give up. That's what our deck's doing, is just getting rid of every single resource they have. And it, it's going to take a while. Like, only Splash, Stalking Shadows, and like a deck with like Mountain Scryer. What do we got? Garen LeBlanc. Things kind of slow also. Yeah, it's a slow death. <laughs> it is a slow death. No, I mean, I think we are. I think we have a lot of tools for Aurelia's here. You know, with having like the withering whales and you know, like a lot of these different blockers and stuff. I, I think we can do okay. In that matchup. My move. Please, I have connections. There, of course, a sharp sight deck. Not great for Zoe.
I don't like seeing that card. Because that means they're playing things that challenge. I don't want them to challenge my Zoe. I don't like it. Just overall. Just don't like it. Ugh, all allies challenger this round? Oh, that is brutal. Let's see, like, maybe they challenge one thing. Dang, that is brutal. I don't have Hush. Just stop this LeBlanc. Oh, man, on guard. Yeah, they'd... Oh, yeah, they got me. They sure did. They sure did. Wow. That's kind of how today's gone. The black rose once more. Yeah, that was really unexpected. Is that the dream, though? LeBlanc on three... This thing on four, Garen on five, then you use your three sp spell mana for on guard and just annihilate three things, and that's just the man. At least, at least we let the opponent live their dream, right? Like that's that's why they built the deck. So they they got a very good quality win here. They they can they can die happy, right? <laughs> that GGS. We have all of our anti really Azir tools. These one one damage things. Yeah, this is. Yeah, good, good game. Only the finest serve. Oh my gosh, they really are just living the dream. Wow. Congratulations. Yeah, I didn't attack with Zoe because of Sharp Sight. Alright, so Kindred Zoe. I didn't really do the deck justice with the first two losses. That last one... Good game opponent. Like that was a that was a sweet hand, sweet deck. Way to go. You know, they deserve that win hundred percent. But uh the first two, especially game two, I really should have you know, the the first one was, you know, against the Watcher. They had lots of their threats, right? You know, multiple Lissandras and Trundles and fading memories and things like that, and you know, they they got me. But that, it was the game two, right? Like the game two, I, I shouldn't lose them. But anyway, I was I was very back to our deck. I was you know like the, the priestesses were awesome. I, I liked the stalking shadows with the priestesses and everything like that. It turned out we had I think we had too many one damage removal, right? Too many unspeakable horror, vile feast, and withering whales, right? Like we we honestly had too many of those. And honestly, withering whale looked pretty terrible, and it it, it has like it it looked bad in the kindred lux deck that we played three of them and looked bad here. If we're not playing against like Aurelia Azir, these Withering Whales have looked pretty bad. Um, we need, we kind of need more Black Spear, right? Especially against like the Lissandra opponent. I couldn't kill Lissandra. Even just like watching like that last opponent, right? Like Black Spears would have been much better than Withering Whales. Trying, you know, to be able to kill, um, you know, at, like after they made that attack. Like imagine if, if I just had, you know, Black Spear instead of Withering Whale. We could, we could actually kill like LeBlanc and stuff. But that was kind of like the, the death of us is I couldn't. I like these that was the problem with our deck way too many one one damage removal so um I kind of want to just take out withering whale even though that hurts our really a zero matchup but they looked pretty bad and I'd want to play a second black spear and maybe another maybe another unspeakable horror or maybe just another unit that can invoke like lunari priestess I also wouldn't mind playing like one copy of Moon Dreamer. I think that that's an underrated card that just kind of gives our deck a little bit of size that we didn't have. You know, being a 3-5, they can kind of match up well against a bunch of like 3-4s and, uh, or sorry, like a bunch of 4-3s that are in the metagame and everything. And just kind of give us that extra blocker. I don't know. the Or maybe just a Grass the Undying. That's, yeah, let's go with a Grass the Undying. That's a card that's good against aggro still, can heal our Nexus still. But actually kill some things that you know can kill some champions that we kind of need to be able to kill and it can kill it better so that's what i would do is is the withering whales were really the thing that was the a problem and then like you know we couldn't kill mid-sized champions so let's get rid of those get a black spear get a grasp and that that should be some upgrades there all right so that's going to be it here for kindred zoe those y'all watching later on youtube 
hit that like button over there and of course leave those comments hope you all enjoyed it um, but that's gonna be it here for this one thank you so much for watching and i'll see you for the next video